Hi, and welcome to Eminem Film Talk, where we talk to real people and film. My name is Michelle Wilson, and I am here today with Jerika Shaban. She's from Prime Stone Media, and she's a writer, director, and so much more. And we're going to talk to her today about being a black woman in film. Welcome, Jerika. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, now, uh, first, before we get started, Drika, just tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Drika Siobhan. I am a writer, director, producer, DP. I pretty much can do all things all right. on set. Okay. From the bottom to the top. Yes. And so I've been able to uh, basically participate in a lot of projects, produce a lot of my own projects, help co-produce other projects and all that good stuff. And so, yeah. So you feel real comfortable I, I in your skin on there. I in my skin. All right. I have, I have been uh, professionally shooting since 2003. Wow. I created my first feature, which was like an hour and 47 minutes okay. back in 2007. Wow. That is awesome. Thank so you. you've been doing some great things here in film. So that, that's a really good thing to understand. And, and to be a black woman in film, how do you feel about that? Right now is, is really an exciting time, I can say. Uh, a lot of the opportunities that we now have, we okay. did not have exactly at one point. I can remember mm -hmm. when I was the only woman in the room, mm -hmm. the only black in the room, mm -hmm. and I'm there <laughs> with a lot of, you know, males, yes. and it would just feel like, you know, I was you, always there with a whole lot of them always. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah I one of the guys, guys. right, yeah, exactly. exactly. And now to see, how the industry has has included yes. African American women and yes. now created new diversity and inclusion mm -hmm. programs mm -hmm. to make sure that we're being included and have a seat at the table yes. is really a great thing. Oh, we have some awesome uh, act, some awesome writers, producers, directors out there right now that's just been just blazing the way even further mm -hmm. for us, and and that's a good thing. I, I'm loving that to see all that happen. So to be, I know, a black woman, I feel what you feel because I felt that same way at one point mm -hmm. to, to just actually get out there and try to make a voice for yourself. Right, right. It was hard. It was hard. Even just a black film writer, a maker, period, was very, very hard to, to make that happen. Right. So, right. so being comfortable with that and being excited about that, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great time, but I still can say there, there still need to be even more opportunities. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Although we are getting opportunities, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we still want to see more because there's yes. still so many uh, women who are able to do great jobs. Yes. Just great, but still can't get those opportunities specifically because they're a woman. They're well, women. they're women and they're yeah. black. Exactly. So that may say double exactly. problem a double for problem. some some women there mm -hmm. out there. So now uh, you have a talk show. I do. I have a talk show. Okay. It's called I Am Ready to Talk Now. Oh, wow. And it's a, it's a show where we do special segments. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were doing the segments, the segments were mainly focused on uh, bringing a voice to uh, the victims and survivors of sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. And we specifically uh, were doing those shows based on that. Mm -hmm. And so because I'm self-employed and because I wear so many hats, I wasn't able, I'm not able to do it on a consistent base as yeah. you guys are able to do here. Okay. But whenever I hear a story that mm -hmm. is just so compelling to where I'm like, this story needs to be shared, this story needs to be exactly. told because this is going to help someone else to it be is. empowered. Oh, yeah. Then I make the time and we film that story. But those that's segments good. are called I'm Ready to Talk Now. I'm ready to Talk Now. And that's a, that's a good. Uh, I think that's a good top uh, topic to top and just to open door for people. Thank you. Because a lot of people are afraid, mm -hmm. um, and when they're going through those kind of challenges, mm -hmm. they're afraid and they don't know where to go. And when they're ready, they need a, someone to have a voice for them. They do. They do. Yeah. And so, and that's a good. I think that's an awesome show. I'm glad you're doing it. Thank you. Yes. Thank yes. you. Uh, well, tell us a little bit, a little bit more about some of the other projects that you do that what you offer as a self-employed black woman as, as a self-employed mm -hmm. black woman mm -hmm. I um, I would say what 
pays the bills on a consistent mm -hmm. basis okay. is my company, Prime Stone Media, where we create content. Yes. Anything from commercials to films mm -hmm. to anything in between, okay. creating those, that content and being able to create it professionally for those clients to where we come in uh, to a business and actually help them to be able to uh, market and brand their business yeah. by content creation, creating those commercials, mm -hmm. creating those EPKs, but then also I'm able and I'm blessed to be able to work on film projects where mm -hmm. I'm able to come in as a DP, uh, director of photography or that thing, you know, yeah. co-produce or something right. like that. And so I love working on film projects uh -huh. and then my own film projects too, where I am writer, director, and producer. Yeah. And so it's always great. To, to I was wondering that. how do you have time and how you separate mm -hmm. uh, working so diligently on projects for others and how do you pencil in your, your projects and making time for it? I can say this year it was a little difficult making time for my project. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I take it all as a blessing because yeah. that means things were going great for Prime Stone yeah. Media. It may not have gone specifically how Drika Siobhan <laughs> wanted it, but okay. even when I'm getting projects out for those clients, okay. you know, those projects still reflect me in a sense. Yeah. And, I, and I really don't take on too many projects that I don't believe in anyway. Yeah. So, and that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, now I know you was all working on a project. I think I saw some things online mm -hmm. and that you was working on a project. Was that in Memphis or? That was in Baton Rouge. Okay. Um, the yes. director, writer, mm -hmm. producer is Aaron Williams. Okay. And I uh, connected with him while I was filming in New Orleans. Okay. And from there, uh, showed him some of my work. And I got signed on to that project as a director of photography. Now that one starred uh, Jack A. Harris from 227. Wow. We had Lawrence Hilton Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> yeah, she was, yeah. We had KD from Friday After Next. We had um, wow. quite a few people. It was a pretty decent, see, oh, big, yeah. big project, bro. And Chico mm. um, ben, uh, Benman. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a really great project. Oh, yeah. I bet that felt really good. Yeah, it to was. To be involved in that. Some, a project really good like that. to be involved in a project like mm. that. And to be a woman and be a woman who is over the overall look and feel, the director yes. of photography is mm -hmm. always big. So, yeah, yeah, I saw you was doing some great things. That's Thank a look you. at it. Go, girl, go. You did great. Uh, I saw a little bit video footage of some of the things that you were doing there, mm -hmm. uh, some still shots and things like that. And it seemed like y'all was having a, a really good time. It was. It was a really good time on set. Yeah. Um, yeah. Real, real good to always connect with people. Mm -hmm. I've had opportunities to work on some other projects. Also, okay. um, I worked on a project mom. Mm -hmm. um, I wow. worked in the art department and the AD department there. Okay. And so that was fun. You know, it's yes, always it you was. always want to know yes. how other people do stuff. And then when you come back and you realize like it's, that it's all great. Yes. And that you're on the right track. Mm -hmm. You just need a budget. Exactly. Now that's the elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, budget. Exactly. Just need the budget. Yes. Yeah. And you can do those things as well. But it's just knowing that you are good at what you're doing and you are on the right track. Um, then when that actual budget comes, right, this is going to just empower you to just be that know. much even mm -hmm. better. A lot of people shy away from things like that. They they feel I think they get just too one sided uh, when they're with their focus. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. it's, it's important to try everything like exactly. you know mm -hmm. I uh, when I worked on that project mom I mm -hmm. just really wanted mm -hmm. to get the experience of to see how they do it so I was glad to come in and yes. learn some things see some things mm -hmm. see some things I had to do myself see some things I could do better it's always yeah. great and you know every opportunity is, is good just to work on a project because the mm -hmm. more you're able to do your craft the better you become at it. The yes. more I produce, the more I direct, the more I DP. Mm -hmm. I mean, like commercials, I can do commercials in my sleep. See. EPKs, I can do EPKs in my sleep. Like it, yes. It's like stuff like that just comes naturally because mm -hmm. I've exercised that that muscle for so long. Exactly. You know, I was the head of uh, production at Channel 5. Yes, um, that's true. At the commercial production department. What there. did you take away from being a, a, a you know, producer mm -hmm. there at, at Channel 5? It was a really great experience. It's one of those things where you just realize how God orchestrates everything. Yes. 
and places you at the right place mm -hmm. and the right time. And it's all about mm -hmm. when opportunity meets preparation. Because yes. if you're not prepared, mm -hmm. you're not ready when that opportunity does come. Exactly. So, so long story short, I was working, I had gone through some tragedies. You know, we all mm -hmm. have tragedies But we have some tragedies. We're going to go through challenges. We're going to go through challenges. I think the challenges come to make us better. Mm -hmm. They do. Mm -hmm. they struggles do. come to make us better. Struggles come to make us better. That's it. I moved back mm -hmm. to Mississippi after uh, going through a divorce at that time. That was okay. years ago. Okay. So I ended up working at a TV station there. Mm. And I had never done a commercial before in wow. my life. Other than when I did my movie premiere, I did do a commercial for a little limo company in exchange for uh, picking up my actors to bring them to the red carpet that we wow. had to sing at the end there. Um, and so I created this little commercial mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I'm sitting in the <laughs> hair, at the hair dryer at the salon mm -hmm. while I'm back in Mississippi and somebody says, hey, are you looking to be in TV? I understand you do film. And wow. I'm like, yeah. Awesome. And they're like, have you ever done a commercial? I'm like, <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, yeah, yeah I have. so I said what I had. It wasn't the best, but what they did, they told me, "Hey, we like it," but they loved my film stuff, okay. and they said that because they liked my film and my music video work, they thought I would bring something different to the department. So I did that at that station in Jackson, Mississippi, yeah. for like three years. And next thing I know, I get a phone call, um, and they say, "Hey, we like your work. We've seen your work online." See? You know, mm -hmm. somebody told us about you, and mm. and we want you to come lunch the department, and that's See? what I did, and it was a great experience, and wow. that's how, yeah. So just actually applying yourself, putting your stuff out there, and and I would say trading off services for one other thing. A lot of times people have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. They have a problem with it. You'll work with them on a project and say, well, hey, work with me on this project and then I will do this for you. Mm -hmm. They'd rather see the dollars and cents mm -hmm. out front more so than the exchange. Right, right. But that exchange opened up another door that you didn't even know you I, had inside I of you. I had no idea. I, all I knew is I needed a limo to take those actors to that for me. <laughs> I didn't have any money to pay him. Yes. So hey, let me do you a video. Okay. So you're right. It's mm -hmm. like sometimes it's not about the dollar for dollar. Yeah. It's the value of what you're getting exactly. in an exchange for what can people do it all. Other people do it all the time. Well, so that's we just it. have to. You know, one hand washes the other in that sense. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we've been talking about some great things here in the break right now, and we're going to be right back with Eminem Film Talk. Eminem Film Talk. Sponsored in part by Watson Tax Services, Chester Watkins Tax Preparation Services. Call 901-853-3732. We're back with Eminem Film Talk, where we talk to real people in film. Okay, we're sitting here today with Jerika Shavon. Just tell me a little bit about um, some of your challenges that you went, you went through. Well, I would say that the challenges that we face now are a little bit different than the challenges we were facing back then. Exactly. You know, it is. and it is. 2003, 2007, the challenge was being able to get gear that was affordable. Yes. Okay. I can remember yeah. <laughs> I can remember buying my first film camera to shoot my project and I had to come up with $5600 mm. to get a camera just to shoot wow. my film with. And the hard drives were like three, four hundred dollars mm -hmm. just for a one terabyte hard drive to put mm. the footage on. And the tapes, I know. the mini DV oh tapes. Mm -hmm. I wanted the pro tapes, so they were <laughs> really expensive. So, but now we're in a non-linear world. Exactly. And mm -hmm. gear is cheaper. I mean, like people can pick up a cell phone and then shoot a project. Mm -hmm. like Especially with a new one that's out yeah. now. Exactly. <laughs> you get three cameras. So, <laughs> so it's just so amazing how technology mm -hmm. has um, actually created so many opportunities. It has. I think, um, I guess that's not really a challenge now mm -hmm. as far as the technology. The challenges now would be just finding people who have like-minded yes. goals and visions mm. and it's because technology is so easy mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to decipher who's really about their business and who's doing it for passion okay. versus who's just kind of 
just just in it for just that moment. Just, you yeah. could easily put someone on your team because mm -hmm. you're thinking, oh, they're creating a lot of content. Mm -hmm. They're just just doing it just for the likes or the shares. Yes. And so it. you know, you just it's good to have people who create, but it's it's important to make sure you have people who as far as your team exactly. that have the same. Same, yeah, same, same vision, same, same vision. journey that they're going on. Mm -hmm. uh, also, now tell me who inspired you uh, to to get out there and to get involved in this. You know, I grew up watching, and I say this all the time, Little Shop of Horror. I can always I remember <laughs> being four and five years old, and I always said I wanted to make movies, and wow. then somehow. I switched that and I thought I wanted to be a doctor. But then I went right back to it and I was like, I want to make movies. Mm -hmm. So when my my college classmates see me, they say, are you doing exactly what you said you were going to do in college? Yes, exactly. I said I was going to switch my major. Mm -hmm. I was going to make movies. And so and God then. gave me a vision like early on because <laughs> we would shoot everything when I was like 13. Thank God we didn't have... Well, you know what, we should have had technology where we could have put these things out because we filmed every day, all day. Really? Um, wow. Yes. That was I was known as the girl with the camera <laughs> in school. <laughs> the girl with the camera. I videoed everything. Well, see, and that was a good thing to know early on what you wanted to do. And then even though you took some, some minor detours because we always say, okay, have, do those people really eat or, 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 or what, what, what is that? You know, is that just something that I'm just wanting to do because it looks exciting. Mm -hmm. But to figure out that you wanted to do because this is what you are, it's this is in my spirit. I, seven days a week, if I don't do something related to film, mm -hmm. I feel like my day is a waste. I really do. I'm one of those people. See, that's I'm, good. I'm up seven days a week before <laughs> five o'clock. It's like if I'm not doing something related to my passion. Yeah. And regardless if I made a lot of money or I made a little money, okay. I never felt like I was gonna abandon it. It's like mm -hmm. the one thing that I've never been afraid to commit to. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do this. this. I'm gonna do this. this regardless is me. what it is. This is it's in my essence. It's who I am. And see, and that that's a good thing right there. So now tell me a little bit about some of the projects that you working on now or see happen in your future. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as my personal projects, I will say um, I'm working on uh, several of them. Okay. And uh, one of the features I am currently raising funds for and mm -hmm. we hope to start filming it by the June of next year. So now we're going to continue everything with, uh, I'm ready to talk now, we're going to mm -hmm. definitely change some things there okay. and bring that back so it's conversations that need to be had okay having this kind of uh, journey and being involved in in film and and actually share, being on other people projects and things like that so what how do that make you feel inside when you go out of a project and uh, into a new project or uh, what are your it's, feelings it's, it's no better feeling than mm -hmm. to wrap a project okay. but then even better than that to actually see the finished product mm. this to me i don't have any kids but i give it <laughs> so i assume it's like little, giving birth <laughs> yeah. have a child and see how far they went right because right, really, right, yeah. it takes a while you put so much into it <laughs> yes, especially when it's yes. something you're passionate about mm -hmm. you know i love faith-based projects that's yes, the lane that i'm operating do. in mm -hmm. right now and mm -hmm. i'm loving it so yeah, it's, it's very inspiring. Um, I think you can put our messages mm -hmm. uh, very easy to um, the person, uh, the actual audience can follow that film mm -hmm. very easy. Right. Tell the audience, a, 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 you know, some final words. And also, I want you to let them know how they can get in touch with you. Uh, well, final words to the audience. I would say any creatives that are watching this segment, okay. I would just encourage them to continue on despite how much money mm -hmm. you're making doing it, despite yeah. what the odds may look like. If mm -hmm. it's something that you're passionate about, wow. keep going after it. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a big believer that where God gives vision, mm -hmm. He gives provision. Yes, so he does. <laughs> as long as you're doing your part and yes. believing and knowing mm -hmm. that this too shall pass and God's promise is gonna, gonna stand, yes, right. I say just keep going. That's what you that is so good. And, and how can they get in touch with you? Because they, I know you said you do some commercials and things like that. And yes. how can they get in touch uh, with my you? My company is Prime Stone Media 
and you can reach us at primestonemedia.com. That's our website. Mm -hmm. uh, Primestone Media on Instagram. You can reach me, Drinker Siobhan, on Instagram also and Facebook. And I have all that information at the bottom of the Thank screen. You. And so that if you want to jot it down, please do because this is an awesome woman in a black woman oh. in film and I love this and Thank I'm you. so happy that we had this opportunity I to just am. sit down and Take you away from your it's a space right to there. Talk to you. Your spirit is just amazing. Wow! Thank it's you. Been I love that. Talking to you this morning. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Eminem Film Talk, where we talk to real people in film.